boom. Saturday, she's a wee bit. Oh, there's me three-legged dog running across the lawn, and there goes Wendy. She's getting the firewood. Hi, Wendy. Hi. And there goes Chicas. She's off to the races with the three-leggeds. There she goes. Saturday's the day that me and my wife, Wendy, we like to go on little adventures, we call them, friends. Uh, not that it's a, a, an adventure in itself, but it's me and her driving around in her Jeep. Maybe north, maybe south. We're not quite sure where we're going today, but we're going to go. Saturday's going to be the day that we choose to go on little adventures. Yes, indeed we are. But I'm going to, because I didn't upload yesterday, it's been busy on this big tree job. Yeah, I got some good footage coming. You're going to love it. Buck and Clam's a monster. <laughs> it was in the tree a long time. Um, so, but I got this axe I'm working on, actually. And I'm going to, I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. Because I bought that board. Remember, friends? I bought the board, that, that big, long board, that 10-foot board. And I cut all these little blanks into the, and I've been making my handles, my own handles with the, with the, with the spoke shape. Or Adrana, and they're coming out deadly. Like I, I like it actually. I really enjoy making. I'm getting better at it. It's a craft that I love to do, uh, and and I get such enjoyment out of the finished product. Like I just do, and and then whether we sell it, we do, or we give it away, or whatever. But um, today is the day that Don Snow has been asking me, Donald, I love you, brother. He's been saying, Buck, and you got to do the, you got to do the, the, the yardstick of life or the ax handle of life video again. And, you know, friends, I woke up in an interesting mood, in, in, in a mood that, because the last couple of days I've been climbing, which always brings back memories to me and about my journey and about my warrior years of raising and, 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 and supplying or, or supporting this family with my two kids and my wife and that and the house and a mortgage and all the rest of it that we all have. So I call it the warrior years. And uh, I always kind of flash back when I start climbing again. It's interesting. It goes, I go to a neat spot in my brain. Um, so today's the day that I kind of felt, I guess, the right feelings to talk about the axe handle of life video. And it's actually a serious 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 notion friends it's not it's not a joke this isn't a joke video this is very very serious and i mean it and, and if and if you're in a position in your life right now and you're looking back on your life or you're looking forward or you're looking right dead square in the center right now and you're asking questions about what you're doing here what are you doing here what do you think you're doing here what are you supposed to be doing here you're not supposed to be doing anything you're supposed to be doing what's in your heart we were put here to be happy. But we've all come in on a different ship, even though we're on the same boat, right? We are all in the same boat. We are. We've just come in on different ships. My ship was quite interesting. I'm sure yours was too. So I'm going to talk about the axe handle of life right now. And uh, I hope you get something from this. It wasn't as intense as the very first one. You should check that video out. It was a great video. It helped a lot of people. And I hope this was this one does too, friends. I'll talk to you guys a little bit. Be kind to one another. I'm going on a little adventure with my wife today. We'll talk to you tomorrow on the live feed. Over and out. Enjoy the video.
sucks. Anyway, um, it's Saturday. The wife and I have um, decided that Saturday is going to be our kind of our day, our adventure day. She's She's been such a patient woman with my crazy shenanigans over the last how many years? I don't know. I'm I'm one of them guys. I'm always doing something, and it's based on feeding the family. Is is what what it is for me? Is I'm a, I'm a working man. <laughs> I don't know how else to put it. I I I work. I I don't really sitting around. I can do a little bit now that I'm getting a little bit older. But but in my thirties, friends, forties, going concern. Just a going concern. Always got something on the go. Always trying to do better for the for the for the family, and 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 my body was the brunt of that, because I made my living with my body. And I'm just so grateful, so grateful that I have this YouTube community now in the later part of of my journey on the on the last leg, so to speak. Right? You know what I mean, friends? By that, like the 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 um. The axe handle of life, you know what I mean? Because our our, li our lives are really an axe handle. It, it is. Our, our lives are an axe handle, and I'll show you what I mean by that. I'll show you what I mean by that. Let's talk about it for a second, and, and let's get serious. Here's, a, here's an axe handle that I made out of bamboo. And and I'm almost thinking that this would be the, this is, this, this stuff's indestructible. It's indestructible. So let's talk about this for just one second here. The axe handle of life. And all it is, is it's about how old you are. How old are you? Hmm? Because let's, let's do this. Let, let's talk like this. So let's say this here is when you were born. Right there. So that's one. Your first year of your life is right there. And this, we're going to call life expectancy 100 years old. Right there. That's what we're calling it. Okay? So old Buck and Billy Ray, he looks at the, the, the axe handle of life, and my goodness, that is a nice axe handle. It really is. I love it. Now, never mind that. I ask myself, what have I done here? Like, what, what, what was this about? Well, this was about, what, what, what was this part of my life like? It was actually very chaotic for me because my mom was haywire. Sherry Smith, Mama Buckin, was absolutely haywire. She was a rock and roller. She was in bands. She was a, a drug addict and an alcoholic. And she cleaned up her act when I was probably... Maybe somewhere in here, 13, let's see, 15, 20, 25, 30, 50, 50, somewhere in there. Yeah, somewhere's in here. Somewhere's in there. The axe handle of life. I was about 13 when she cleaned up. Thank goodness she did. She got up because we were kind of fearing for her life here. So I lived my first few lives wondering if my mom was actually going to be alive. So that that was my my kind of in, induction to, to life was a haywire mom, a uh, bit of a, bit of a, uh, an interesting upbringing, uh, but tons of love, right friends? Hippies, patchouli oil, smell of greens in the air, music festivals, lots of love, not nothing other than uh, the mom's craziness. And, and she's fine with me saying this because it was nuts. It was crazy. She'll tell you the same thing. Excuse me. So, now, school, right? School, 19, get a job, start your life. Start the workforce. And I started here, I started getting... So I'm not going to talk about all that, but I am going to say that it's very simple. Now going forward, I am 52 years old on April 7th. Right now, it is. I think it's the third. I think it is. I think it's the third, the second or the third. And I am right dead square in the middle of my life, of my axe handle of life right there. Where are you? Where are you? And, and more importantly, what are you going to do right here? Have you been happy here? Were you happy? Were you extremely unhappy? What changes do you need to make to not repeat this? 
This was a very important part of our lives right in here, friends. Really important. Working like warriors. I call them the warrior years. Right here. Warrior years. 19 to, 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 to right here, say. You know, 60. 19 to 60. 20 to 60, really. 30 years of, of, of hard work. You know, I mean, it's different for everybody. I started working young. But I'm just saying in general, because you graduate, right? And you get into who knows what. Never mind that. Maybe you didn't, maybe you've been doing something from since you were 19 years old. Maybe you've been working at the same job for 30 years and you're now here and you, you think that you've, you're unhappy at the job right here. You're unhappy. You've been at the same job here, and this has been a very, just a, 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 almost like a robot in here. Well, friends, now's your opportunity. What in the heck are you going to do from wherever you are, if even if you're 65 up here? What's your freaking plan here? It's very simple. It's all numbers. What are you going to do? Well, you know what I'm going to do? It's got a great big H right there. H A P P I N E S S. Happiness. I'm going to do whatever the heck I want to do. It's my freaking life. I put my dues in. And if you think that I'm going to make decisions that are going to continue to make me unhappy and just settle for whatever, you're completely and utterly mistaken, horribly mistaken. Life's not happening to me, friends. I talk about this a lot. Life is not going to happen to me. I'm not roboting it. I'm not doing it. I'm, I'm stepping out, okay? I'm going to happen to life. You're going to hear about me. You are. You're going to hear about me. I'm going to do something with mine. I'm going to. I'm 52 and I got this much left right here. What are you going to do with that time? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? The axe handle of life. It's very, very simple. I'll tell you right now, this is going to be all about giving and making the world a better place right in here for me. Buck and Billy Ray is going to go down in history right there of a, of a, uh, a, 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 what do you call it? A soldier of, of, of love right there. Soldier of love, a carrier of a love message and peacemaker right here. I'm a peacemaker from here on, from here on out. I'm going to make the world a better place because YouTube's going to help me do it because we're going to grow this channel and we're going to have a little, a nice little group of people right through here growing and growing and growing and growing. And everywhere we go, at the drive through and we're going to just uh, help out, buy the guy's coffee behind us, open the freaking door for somebody. How's it going today? How you doing? I don't know you. You don't know me, but now we do know. How's it going? How's life going? What are you going to do? Seriously, friends, are you just going to hide in your shell and just take care of you and not worry about anybody else and just tunnel vision it? No, I can see this whole axe handle. My nose is about three inches from the handle. I can see this and I can see that. I can see my whole freaking life right now with my peripheral vision. But if I go like this, try it. Try it, friends. Put the axe handle of life right up in your nose. You can see when you were born and you can see when your life with your peripheral vision. Open up our peripheral. Let's help people around us. Let's gather our strengths together as a species, the human species. Let's get together. We're, we're no good holding on to everything we got and you hide your stuff from me and me hide my stuff from you. We're no good doing that. We're better to share and, and join forces and become stronger as a species to help each other out. Isn't that common sense? I'm ranting right now. Yes, I am. I'm going to happen to life. I'm going to do it. I'm happening to life. I'm going to do whatever I want to do. I'm going to jump in that Mercury truck of mine. Hopefully within the next few months, I'm going to jump into it. 
I'm going to turn the key. Hopefully my kid's going to be sitting by my side. I'm going to throw some power saws in the back of my truck. I'm going to put my freaking hands on the wheel and I'm going to mat it all the way to freaking Manitoba. I'm going to go see the tin man, drop off some saws, maybe learn how to port a saw, hang out with him on his property and his town of 265 people. Why? Once again, because that may take up about a week of my life right here. That's a blip right there. Boop, boop. That's it. Who knows what's going to happen on the way there? Who knows who I'll meet? I swear to goodness. I swear to goodness right now, friends. I love life and I love people. And, and I'm going to take this opportunity right here to meet as many and to make as many happy along the way as I can. Thanks for watching my video. The axe handle of life had to happen soon because uh, old Don Snow, the snowman's been talking about it, friends. It's Saturday. I've been, I've been going like a banshee lately, friends. I honestly have. I want to thank everybody that's been coming here. I want to thank the people that have been sending gifts in the mail to me. Thank you so much. I've been running your saws. Tristan, Teddy Barrick, all everybody. I can't mention everybody because you're just all wonderful folk. Thank you all so much. And thanks for coming and hanging around here with us. And, and happening to life. Let's happen to life, everybody. Let's do it. Let's happen to life. Over and out. Be kind, friends.